I'm Tisha Moore and I am going to show you how to make my amazing 16 page journal out of one sheet of paper. That's why I call it amazing because it's 16 pages that are 8 by 10 out of this one piece of paper. And this is the finished journal. This has a few more pages in it than, uh, let's see here, some of the pages are going to look like this. And they flip out and so I count the flip as a, as a page and the other side as a page. So that's how I get 16 pages. Here's another one. This, is, this journal has no flipped out pages. So when you get done learning how to do it, you just can cut off all the, all the flaps if you don't want to flap. And you can experiment with doing it bigger. But you will have to use more than one piece of paper to make a journal this size. But it's a lot more fun to work in. Um, takes a lot more time because it's so big, but it's kind of fun. So, what you need is one piece of Fabriano Artistico 140 pound hot press watercolor paper. And you don't want to use arches because it cracks when you fold it. Um, and the size is 22 by 30. So I'm gonna use a tear bar that I got from Daniel Smith to tear it into three strips. You want three strips that are 10 inches each and you won't have any wasted, wasted paper. This tear bar was like 70 bucks. You don't have to use one of these, but my husband wanted one, and so we have one, and he uses it a lot. I have a paper cutter that I pretty much, I cut all my pages on. Um, it's just easier, and I don't really care about the torn edges, but, so, I did it at 10 and 20, so you're going to... Start on the side which is the closest to this side. Put your tear bar there. Line up those marks. You're going to hold this really firm while you just tear against this heavy bar. Like so. Keep it. Keep pressure on it. And you have a perfect tear. So now we got to fold the pages. Take two of them and leave the other one off to the side. And with these, you're going to measure in. Now it's going to be an 8 by 10 journal. And so I want you to count 8 is where the first fold is going to be. But I want you to mark it at 16 from the edge. So from the left ed edge in, 16 inches. We'll just do this one real quick while we got the bar here. 16 and 16. I'm never that accurate. If it's okay if you get a little off. Alright, so you're going to take this side that you measured from and you're just going to put that up next to your marks and fold. That way you're folding at eight and before we go on, this is really important. If you have a bone folder, that's what this does, but if you don't, the handle of some scissors works great. Now um, you're going to just take this and you're going to fold it up right next to the, the paper, the edge of the paper. Make sure you do the edges. You're going to see that this is a little bit off from my marks. It doesn't really matter. So that one's done. Next one. Fold over. Burnish. And fold 
fold this edge in. I like to open it so I get a really nice fold. That's the most important part that people forget, tend, tend to forget. Okay, last one, the third one, is you fold it in half. This is going to be the cover. Burnish. Okay. Now you want to take your two signatures here or your two pages. All of these nestled in each other is called a signature if you ever take any other book finding things. Um, so on this one you want the flap going one way and the second one you want the flap going the opposite way. You don't want both flaps to go on the same side. It would make it lopsided. So you nestle those in there. Now you're going to nestle those pages in your journal. You're going to make sure that it's really nice and tight up in the spine and it's even. You're going to hold it in place and I'm holding it with my hand. I'm opening it. I'm holding it with my other hand and I'm keeping this here because I don't want this to move. I'm going to just take this flap and again I'm going to fold it up next to those pages. Take them out and burnish it. Flip it over. Put this back in again. Make sure it's tight. And burnish or fold and burnish. Alright. We're almost there. You've got all your pages folded.